To start, stay sutures are placed in the ventral aspect of the body of the stomach. Ensure that large bites are taken so that the stay sutures do not pull out when traction is applied. Two bites may be taken to uh, further decrease the risk of suture pullout. Then laparotomy pads are packed around the stomach to minimize any contamination within the peritoneal cavity. A stab incision into the lumen is then made with a 15 scalpel blade. Be sure you penetrate both the seromuscular and mucosal submucosal layers, they are quite distinct. This stab incision is extended carefully in a linear fashion with Metzenbaum scissors. Note the position of the gastrotomy. It is between the lesser and greater curvatures in the middle of the body. Following retrieval of the foreign body, we're going to close the gastrotomy site in two layers. Separately, we are going to close the submucosal mucosal layer. With 2OPDS, be sure to use a tapered needle. Here we are using a, a connel or a cushing pattern, depending on if you penetrate full thickness into the lumen. Either one is fine, of course, as long as we catch the submucosal layer. Bites are taken parallel to the incision on either side. While you are applying this line, be sure that the um, cut margins are inverting well, thereby creating a nice secure barrier from the lumen. After closure of the mucosal submucosal layer, the seromuscular layer is then carefully opposed uh, using 2O PDS or some other monofilament absorbable suture. Uh, here we are just using a simple continuous pattern. The sutures are cut, stay sutures are removed, and that completes the procedure.